I'm James Trent, and today you're going to learn about the history of toilet paper in America, so stay tuned. Changing the toilet roll is something that no one really likes doing. Luckily, new Kleenex Cottonelle Long Roll has been designed to last for absolutely ages. It's much longer, but still fits perfectly in your holder. It's soft and strong, and of course, it's lab tested for less roll changes. And we're back with the history of toilet paper in America. The first toilet paper produced in England in 1880 was extremely rough and coarse. The British still prefer this type today. This stuff hasn't been around forever. Now before its invention, Americans used all kinds of things. Grass, coconut shells, even corn cobs. Americans, however, soon grew accustomed to wiping with the Sears Roebuck catalog. They saw no need to spend money on something that came in the mail for free. As America approached the end of the 19th century, more and more homes were being built with sit-down flush toilets. Because people required a product that could be flushed down with minimal damage to the pipes, moss and corn cobs no longer cut it. Soon, toilet paper ads boasted that their product was recommended by both doctors and plumbers. What do you think about toilet paper? Thanks, James. Now we're going to get some other people's opinions. What's your name? Clyde. Now, Clyde, what do you think about toilet paper? Um, I think it's uh, very good. It's certainly common around, and I think that Charmin commercials are stupid. Now, Clyde, would you use coconut shells for toilet paper? No, I would not. It hurts too much. I'd rather use leaves. Would you use your finger? <laughs> Clyde, what brand of toilet paper do you buy? Um, well, I think Charmin is the softest, but I am anti-Charmin creepy commercials, so I use Scott. What would your life be like without toilet paper? Very painful in the rear end. <laughs> Back to you. Two brothers, Clarence and E. Irvin Scott, revolutionized the toilet paper industry with the concept of toilet paper on a roll. In the early 1900s, nobody wanted to mention it by name. It was so taboo that you couldn't even talk about the product. By the 1930s, German company Haeckel started using the tagline, Ask for Haeckel and you won't have to say toilet paper. Funny story. In 1973, Johnny Carson of the NBC Tonight Show caused toilet paper madness across America. Inspired by a rumor, Carson's writers wrote a joke about toilet paper disappearing from supermarket shelves. Now in the 1970s, there were actual shortages of things in America, such as oil. So the next day, many of the 20 million viewers rushed to the supermarket to stock up on toilet paper. Most stores were sold out by noon. Several nights later, Carson came on the air and admitted that it was a joke. But people still panicked as they saw empty supermarket shelves. Scott Brand even made a video showing their plants producing toilet paper and asking everybody to stay calm. Eventually, more toilet paper was produced, and the rage was over. From humble beginnings, toilet paper has come a long way. Today, the average tear is 5.9 sheets. One American uses 50 pounds of toilet paper per year. That's two Americans to use one tree of toilet paper. I'm James Trent. Thank you for watching. What's your name? Vladimir. <laughs>